my dear friends i welcome you all to my daily dose so i am myself dr rajesh gubba i am a cardiologist and i am also the mentor for neat pg pga jipma and as well as aims so i teach general medicine and as the part of today's daily dose here is the clinical question so i have a 57 year old man he is reviewed in a hypertension clinic where it is found that his blood pressure is 165 by 105 mm of mercury despite standard doses of amlodipine perindopril doxazosin and bendrofluorothiazide electrolytes and the physical examination have been and remain normal which of the following would be your next stage in his management the options are arrange for his medication to be given under direct observation add spironolactone to his medication arrange urinary catecholamine assays request an adrenal ct scan add verapamil to his medication now this individual he is on amlodipine which is a calcium channel blocker perindopril which is an ac inhibitor and as well as the benzofluorothiazide which is a diuretic and in spite of that like the blood pressure is around 165 by 105 mm of mercury so what does that mean that means that the individual is having refractory hypertension so if you see exactly what is the definition of your refractory hypertension the individual should be on a minimum of three antihypertensives and these three antihypertensives should be of different classes and out of these three different classes one should be the diuretic right one should be the diuretic and the other important point is that all these three hypertens anti hypertensives of three different classes should be used at maximum dose right should be used at maximum dose in spite of that if the blood pressure is on the higher side then we use the terminology called refractory hypertension all right now so like already the individual is in follow up in the hypertension clinic so arranging the urinary catecholamine assays requesting the adrenal ct scan this is mainly to rule out the secondary hypertension right this is mainly to rule out the secondary hypertension urinary catecholamine assays to rule out pheochromocytoma adrenal ct scan to look for any adrenal mass like your cushing syndrome corns or your pheochromocytoma but the point is that when the individual is reviewed in the hypertension clinic regularly he might have undergone the check or he might have been ruled out of the secondary hypertension so in spite of the being checked in spite of the three different anti hypertensives including a diuretic if the blood pressure is on the higher side that is suggests you of your refractory hypertension now the point is that the most one of the most common cause for the refractory hypertension is adherence to the medication right one of the most common cause for refractory hypertension is adherence to the med uh, medication so here like what you need to do in the next step as a part of the management is arrange for his medication to be given under direct observation is the correct answer now the point is we have another drug called spironolactone this is also a diuretic which is a potassium sparing diuretic and this will also reduce the blood pressure but the point is that once you have given the medication under direct observation but still right but still if the individual is having hypertension then you give this particular spironolactone so as a part of the next step in his management adding spironolactone will not be the correct answer here why because one of the most common cause for your refractory hypertension is your adherence so first you try to maintain the adherence by supplementing the medication under direct observation in spite of that if the blood pressure is still on the higher side then you add the spironolactone that will suffice the answer what about this verapamil verapamil is your calcium channel blocker and this is mainly used as anti arrhythmic drug 
right? It, this is mainly used as anti-arrhythmic drug, and this is your class four anti-arrhythmic drug. So adding veripamil in this clinical scenario will uh, will be of no use. And you take your the third option and as well as fourth option. They are mainly to rule out the secondary hypertension, which the patient does not have because he is in follow-up in the hypertension clinic. And if you see the causes of your secondary hypertension, obstructive sleep apnea is one of the cause. Renal vascular diseases, primary hyperaldosteronism, one among that is your Kwan syndrome. Drug abuse like your cocaine, ephedrine, amphetamines, smoking. This is also one of the cause for your secondary hypertension. And renal parenchymal disorders are also the cause for secondary hypertension. But if the question is asked, which is the most common cause for your secondary hypertension? The answer will be obstructive sleep apnea. Now, how do you test for this obstructive sleep apnea? You have to do ESS score, that is Epworth Sleepiness Score, and as well as the overnight oximetry. These are the one which will help you to diagnose the obstructive sleep apnea. And the other etiologies like renal vascular disease, like for example, the renal artery stenosis can cause hypertension, and that is one of the secondary cause of the hypertension. And you have to do renal Doppler. For diagnosing the renal artery stenosis and primary aldosteronism, you can diagnose by doing aldosterone renin ratio. Drug abuse, you have to do a urinary drug drug screening, and renal parenchymal disease that is being diagnosed by doing the renal ultrasound. So this is how you have to diagnose the secondary hypertension. So going back to the question here. In this question, the answer is arrange for his medication to be given under direct observation. So this is a very short video on the approach to the refractory hypertension. So I hope you might have liked this particular short video. So please follow us on the daily dose for the daily updates.